Tripping Through Time, Untold Psychedelic Stories. From Mescaline to Manuscripts, Huxley's Writing Odyssey. Have you ever wondered how psychedelics might influence creativity? Consider this. Some of the most significant creative minds of the 20th century, like Aldous Huxley, weren't afraid to dive into the vibrant, often misunderstood world of hallucinogens. They ventured beyond the veil, exploring the depths of the human psyche, seeking enlightenment and inspiration through substances like LSD, mescaline, and mushrooms. Huxley once said, the primary importance of psychedelic drugs, as far as I'm concerned, is that they give you access to a mode of consciousness that's completely different from the mode of consciousness we operate in every day of our lives. So let's delve into Huxley's mind and explore his life and examine how psychedelics influence not only his art, but also his life and perspective. Would his famous novels still hold the same impact and stories had he not be influenced by these substances? Before his psychedelic experiences, Huxley was already a celebrated author. His early works, such as Brave New World, were revered for their dystopian visions and sharp social criticism. In these narratives, Huxley delved into human nature, exploring the potential for manipulation and control in society. His fascination with these themes reflected his keen interest in the human condition, how it could be influenced, and how it could be exploited. He was intrigued by the power structures that govern society and how they shaped individual and collective identity. His probing questions and insightful commentary in his early works set the stage for the mind-expanding explorations to come. His writing was already powerful and influential, but it was his later experiences with psychedelics that would add a new layer of depth to his work. But Huxley's worldview and writing would take a significant turn after his first psychedelic experience. Huxley's first encounter with psychedelics was with mescaline in 1953. Embarking on a journey into the realm of the mind, he found himself immersed in a world of vibrant colors, profound insights, and a heightened sense of connection. This wasn't a casual experiment, but a deeply personal exploration of consciousness. He later ventured into the world of LSD and mushrooms, each experience adding another layer to his understanding of the human psyche. His vivid accounts of these psychedelic trips are immortalized in his works, The Doors of Perception and Heaven and Hell. Huxley's writings reveal a mind opened by these substances, a mind able to explore the existential questions of life and the universe. His experiences with these substances were not merely recreational, they were a form of self-discovery and intellectual pursuit. These experiences opened new doors of perception for Huxley, profoundly influencing his life and writing. After his psychedelic experiences, Huxley's works took a turn towards the mystical and the spiritual. This shift is most evident when comparing his later works, such as Island, to his earlier more dystopian novels. Before his psychedelic encounters, Huxley was known for his critical view of society, often highlighting its flaws and potential for destruction. This is perhaps best illustrated in Brave New World, where he paints a bleak picture of a future driven by technological advancement and devoid of individualism. However, after experimenting with mescaline, LSD, and mushrooms, there was a noticeable shift in his writing. Huxley began to explore themes of enlightenment and spiritual awakening. His final novel, Island, is a testament to this change. The book presents an ideal society living in harmony on a remote island, their lives enriched by mindfulness and psychedelic experiences. In this utopian narrative, Huxley explores how these substances can be used responsibly to enhance understanding and empathy among people, a stark contrast to the dystopian society he once envisioned in Brave New World. His shift from dystopia to utopia, from social criticism to spiritual enlightenment was undoubtedly influenced by his psychedelic experiences. In essence, these experiences opened a new world for Huxley, one that allowed him to envision a society where psychedelics were not a means of escape, but a tool for personal and societal growth. Huxley's psychedelic experiences had undeniably left an indelible mark on his writing. So, what can we take away from Huxley's psychedelic journey? Aldous Huxley was a man of letters, a philosopher, and an explorer of the mind. His personal experiences with psychedelics, namely LSD, mescaline, and mushrooms, profoundly shaped his writing and his understanding of human potential. He was not just a casual experimenter, but a pioneer who dived deep into the ocean of consciousness. 
Huxley's psychedelic journey was a pilgrimage in search of truth and meaning. He believed that these substances could unlock hidden dimensions of the human mind, opening doors to creativity, empathy, and enlightenment. This belief permeated his writings, subtly influencing his narrative style, his themes, and his philosophical insights. In essence, Huxley's life and work underscore the profound impact that psychedelics can have on an individual's personal and creative evolution. They serve as a testament to the transformative potential of these substances when used responsibly and with purpose. As Huxley once said, the man who comes back through the door in the wall will never be quite the same as the man who went out.